Shriners Hospitals for Children joined a collaborative team of 40 medical experts from Philadelphia to perform the world's first bilateral hand transplant on a child. Bryce was born paralyzed from the waist down and took his first steps at five years old thanks to Shriners Hospitals for Children. The Shriners Hospitals team was the only medical team in the nation that had the experience to treat Owen's rare condition. After choosing amputation, Katie was introduced to adaptive sports at Shriners Hospitals and now competes in hockey, swimming, and track. Jalen was told she'd never play golf again, but thanks to our advanced scoliosis treatment, she's back in the game. Tucker was told he would never walk again, but now he's not only walking, he's playing baseball. Shriners Hospitals for Children reached beyond the borders of North America and helped orphaned amputees from Tanzania thrive in their new life. After losing three limbs to a grenade, 11-year-old Mikola from the Ukraine is learning to walk again at Shriners Hospitals. At three years old, Lee set a goal to raise $1 million for Shriners Hospitals for Children. This past September, she achieved her goal. Teenager Kylie Brookbank is inspiring others with her new book after finding hope and healing at Shriners Hospitals for Children. These stories and the thousands more just like them that take place every day across the country are only possible because of you. Thank you.